<laughs> What's up, Sai? This is Sai. Yeah! Sorry. For those who don't know, this is Jazz in Paris. If you yeah, Media Right Productions. Guys, check it it's out. It's amazing. It's really check good. it out. Really good. It is our intro and outro song. What's up, Susie? Hi, Susie. Hi, We got guys. seven viewers right now, bro. Like, seven viewers? What? That's nice. What's up, y'all? What's up, Dandria? What's up, Jordan? Good to see you again. Oh my goodness, good to see you, everybody. Isaiah, good to see you, man. How's it going? How's everybody been? Hello. Comic convos, guys. We're Another back. Week. Another week. Twenty-one. Twenty-one, my man. Oh man, we're old enough to Ooh. drink as a show now, right? <laughs> we bring beers Our on the show. <laughs> can drink today, guys. And speaking wow. of, speaking of water, but still, yep. Gotta stay hydrated, everyone. Compliments of Leah. Not worthy of your dance skills. Oh, I, w- I wish. <laughs> nah, our dance skills are... Happy 21st. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> I mean, we're not super... Yo, what's up, worse. Israel? See right there. Ooh. How was Wonder Woman? Heard it was awesome. Haven't seen it yet, though. I All right, and great. so I talked to Susie about this, too. I'm sure you probably did. Yeah, you're kind of disappointed about it, I heard. A no, no, I'm all right. I mean, there's like I said, there's always something to put back on a movie. Oh, absolutely. And, absolutely. and especially, oh, I have to be careful, because I, I told you when we left the theater, even, like... See, she said it sucked. Yeah, see, I told you she didn't like it. Um, but the thing being is, I have to be careful with my prejudice towards the movie. Like, I really wanted absolutely. Wonder Woman to be good, and so I had expected it to be good, etc. I cetera. Seen it either. Okay. And so we're not going to ruin any no, uh, no, plot no spoilers, details. No, no spoilers. spoilers. We're basically just going to talk about the quality of the movie, what we yeah, like. And I mean, so we won't get into too many things like the villain, you know, maybe we won't that, get too We won't get too far into the plot, yeah. but we're definitely going to talk about some things that were significant, like the freaking scenery in the film. Oh scenery my is goodness. Beautiful. beautiful. I love that the backstory, <sighs> that, I guess that's a little bit of a reveal, that was, but that that's was kind of given away already. Yeah. Great and it's, scene. And it's right, I mean, we kind of expect it too, right? Everybody wants... I expect it so much more. More than what it offered. What's up, Judson? I I haven't seen it either. Wonder Woman's. Yep. Uh, What's up, AJ? Did you get the? I can't tell which ones are the. I I got the ones on top or the new ones, right? Nah, these are the new ones. The ones on bottom. The ones on bottom. Okay. Well, on top for the computer. Oh god, dang it! Scenery was phenomenal. Phenomenal, Susie. Phenomenal. I've I've really enjoyed it. I would give it a solid eight. See, that's not bad though. But a seven with my prejudice taken into consideration. What prejudice? That I I like the movie. I really like the character. The Love beginning, the, character. the beginning Love of the movie the was. And the other thing is, I like I said, I told you near the beginning of the movie, not because it made me sad or anything. There's no nothing really sad at the beginning of the movie, but because it was so good and accurate and powerful and, it was, and so emotionally. Like, I, was, I was like a tiny little tear in my so eye, like right here. Beautiful. I was like, <sighs> yeah, he was crying. I'm just. Like, uh, I definitely was feeling it in my chest, man. It was like surging. Better than BVS everything. by far. Oh, oh, easily, by far. easily. Uh, yo, Has anybody yo. not seen BVS? Hey, what's up? What's up, Judson? Yep, thank you. Yo, yo. I prefer this shot. Last week which was weird. That's. Uh, were we farther down or up or something? I think we were in the same shot. Yeah. I, maybe we were angled to the back. Matter of fact, I need to scooch up. I need to swerve this way a little bit. There we go. Do we, are we in the right spot now? Are we good? We, we're, we're here to please. Daredevil up, is better than Batman. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, yes, uh, definitely. It's the second season I think season the movie is was amazing. I am so far from DC, and I was loving this it. Is, this is the best DC film by of far. the EU by far. DC EU, I will say... That having said that, and that was the other thing, why I had to put the lump on it because everyone's Wonder Woman. I still enjoyed Logan and Logan Guardians. Was so better. good, dude. They're such okay. good. I will, I will, I will give it this. It fell into a great sequence of good superhero yes. films. Yes, and, that's going and on arguably, so far. and arguably better than those films. Just not personally my I, my interpretation. Yeah, because I was gonna say, I mean, Logan for me was just like wow. It's, it's so like powerful. you can't even compare. It's too really. unique. It's, it's, yeah, it's too unique, too unique so, to the superhero And so, genre. if we were gonna make some comparisons, we talked about what would be the things. I strongly, I strongly disagree. disagree. Oh, of course. 
I really wish you'd enjoyed the movie, Susie. Wait, Happy you didn't was. like Logan or I think she Wonder talked Woman. about Wonder Woman. Okay, yes, true. Oh, uh, and yes, so, Logan was just so much more so, emotional. So I was more close well, to that more character, than that to be even, honest with more you. More than that, even dude, Logan is such a unique... It is. It's a Western-style film. Like, very much. However, I told Leo that I will watch it again. Give it another watch, but I mean, you know, judge how you want. I mean, I, if that's how you feel, I don't know if a second watch. I don't I'm think going a second time. Your first, Definitely your first dies. impression isn't always going to be your last impression, but your, the first oh, impression is far. often lasting. So. Um, and quick little tie-in, uh, I just wanted to throw out the question pretty early on the cast, so maybe oh, if yeah. you guys wanted to think about it. Um, the question for tonight is, do you think Wonder Woman can save the DCEU? Like, do you think, okay, so the DCEU so far has been Man of Steel... Good. Mm, eh, arguably, a decent arguably, it's a though. decent one. Yeah, I, mean, I was gonna say it's about for what we want. For it's Superman. about a seven for me, a six and a half, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's about what it was for I, me. I would um, I would give it that. I might go a little lower. Oh, no, nah, I might get a little lower or higher depending, depending on how you felt mode, about yeah. the uh, the character. I like Zod. Of, well, but, not just that, but I mean the ending of oh, Killing yeah, Zod. Yeah, and, yeah. and that was a lot of people's big... What's up, Damaris? Good to that. see you, man. You know my Jamie, answer to that. Come on in, Being guys. Being the best recent DCEU movie isn't merit. Oh, uh, well, that's well, true. Okay, so, but let's let's but, let's collect here. We, so, have, we have Man of Steel. We have Batman vs. Superman and Suicide Squad. Let's think, guys, which of those movies is really phenomenal. Which of those movies is great? Which of those movies is like even a Doctor Strange or an Iron Man? Maybe Suicide Squad? Maybe? I'm a good day, man. I, I Ultimate Cut. Ultimate Cut. Ultimate okay. Cut Suicide Squad. We're talking Squad. a whole other true, film. True, 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 true. But Ultimate Cut Suicide Squad, I think, is about par-ish with the Doctor Strange. Maybe not quite in Iron Man 1. I don't know. I gave it a 7. Ah, uh, man, I don't know if Six I would and even a half. go that high. Man, Six, I loved, five and a half. Yeah, there was a lot wrong with that movie, wasn't I just, there? The, I was like the Enchantress. I really liked Will Smith. I didn't get the respect she should have gotten. I think that's what gave it Will Smith, Smith, though. Will yeah, Smith he was, he was fantastic. And then, um, and then, what's her name, Margaret? Margaret Robbie. Robbie. Yep, she was good, too. She was very good. And though they saved the film, but maybe Man not. Steel, LOL. Well, I think it can. I what's know up, Yesenia? Agree, Man of Steel. Ah, yeah. Is I, their favorite of it? I think that's what they're t- saying. Or maybe just saying Green Man of Steel is like a good movie we were talking about. Or yeah, ex- Man, of, Man of Steel is decent. Like it's And it's very much it's, how you define your good movie, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's not one of those movie is anything like, I can kind of like go back and watch. Suicide that's Squad was a 7 out of 10. Yeah, give or take. 6, 6.5 for me. But, eh. Except, I, I love that, that we come in with that too, where me and Leo don't always see that. It's not like me no, we're here no, saying we like, all, this you sucks know, and this sucks. Like, we, we have our own opinions. Oh, we yeah. disagree at times. Sometimes we'll agree, sometimes we'll disagree. It also lets um, you guys know that we didn't come here with a script. Right. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is all candid, by the way. Oh, like, yeah. 100%. We don't ever read from a script or we, anything. We basically we'll have. We'll fact check throughout the episode and things like that, yeah, but we're not going to ever. Have we, we have a card. lead sheet. We have idea yeah, like sheet. A, like, like all right, what came out this week? Okay, cool. We'll talk about that. We'll see, we'll see what the, justice can do for. It. Let's agree that it's good. Let's hope it's it's more. I don't know. Wonder Woman, uh, despite some people not liking it, I want it to has be better. Very <laughs> yeah. Wonder Woman. Yeah. I want it. I want Justice League to be. Oh, better. Justice League. Yeah. I want it to be better. Justice League has to be. A nine. It has to be. It has to be up there with that. The first Avengers with. Freaking some of these Iron Man. All right, and can we talk up. about Damn. can we talk about why Wonder Woman did good? And I I, I don't know who, who you want me to talk about it because I will definitely. Talk I mean, about I will it. too. But I mean, I I think we can come to the same same conclusion. Maybe we came to different ones. But yeah, we were talking scenery for a while. It's very beautifully presented. Not only that, you have a very accurate backstory and telling Super. of Diana. Like this is very There's accurate. Very very little very. change. Uh, the only change is being the story of a. Uh, well, we won't go well, into yeah, it. Well, yeah, I was going to say. We'll go into the very small to. changes. No spoilers. Sorry, guys. I, I really, really want Justice, Justice League to be, to be epic. epic. Exactly. It has to be I a want nine it to be or a ten. Point. Yep. There's no it has way to it be. be. It guys, be. how long have we wanted a Justice League film? Let's ask ourselves Since that. before we were Since born? Before Jeez. we were born, my People man. have been wanting... In the this. womb, bro. Like I said, people... And uh, that's the saddest part. People have, have never got to see it. You know what I mean? Some people will never get to see that Justice League movie, man. Or haven't already, you know what so I mean? So true. Make I mean, it. Lebanon is not going to get to see Wonder Woman. Oh, so God, yeah. That. That's, well, I mean, true. But so I just I mean, like, even, Justice League as well. I, I even just think about that. Like, I can't remember what I have a comic book legend we lost recently. 
Uh, oh, Ditko. Ditko. Ditko will never see the Justice League movie. I guarantee you he would have wanted to see it at least. I know. And it, just with all he's done, he would definitely want to see that movie. Not just that, the Punisher series comes out later this year. And he was just working on that. Like, oh. literally just. Why? I'm sorry, I know sad. I'm bringing on the feels. All right, we'll get away from the feels. Thank you to all our viewers, by the yeah, way. Yeah, thank people. you guys. We've seen uh, quite a few of you guys. Yeah, right? and we really appreciate it. Honestly, it's a it's a great. Uh, we love this, guys, love because this is impromptu. Every week, we just get together to talk with y'all. And you know, we're just a couple of nerds all alone. Oh, yeah. But with you guys here, it's a conversation, guys. So feel free to chime in at any time, and let us know what you need. Uh, I definitely do hope that Justice League, though, just exceeds my expectations, it, guys. Because right now, been. my expectations are like, mm, maybe it could be a li- like, I will Wonder say, Wonder, like, I will say, yeah. Below. I will say, though, I, I, Wonder Woman raised the bar. It did. It did. By it set far. the bar higher. It had a better formula. There was a little and, bit of comedy. And, and I don't want anyone to take offense to this on the DCEU side, but come on, it's a Marvel movie. It is. Ever, it by, is a Marvel it's formula okay. by it's far. It's okay to take. It's not a hundred percent a cop of like any movie Marvel's done. It's just by, the it's got that formula, that oh, bit 100%. of comedy, that great action sequences that are happening. The development of character the development problem. Of like com- the, that oh was one goodness. of the biggest problems with the DCU was that side characters, even main side characters like Pushed Lois out. Lane. No backstory. No backstory. None. Push. They are. They're Steve Trevor. We that you get know. some background on right. this guy. You, not has, just Steve. We get background on the characters we're traveling with. Yeah. We, the guy, the piano player. You, like you know, it's like you know, yeah. We, we won't go too too much. Yeah, here, but yeah, there's but a lot. It it just it. And not I only want that. More Avengers movies. Well, we agreed, got Infinity War we coming out. Infinity War. Hey TJ, thanks for coming, bro. Uh, and John. The How about that Gotham finale? Oh, that's fire. Good. It was pretty crazy. Oh my goodness. Gordon, Ru- Gordon so, rushing on. Well, we can't talk about. We got it, some. We got some published information. Published information, guys. They think that there's some theories that Lee might be Harley Quinn. There are theories and that I that like. Barbara the, might be. I know, but my be- better favorite theory right now is the Owl Man theory that yes, I really almost I want really to be hope true. It's Owl Man. That would be awesome. <laughs> Infinity, Infinity War 2018. 2018. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, definitely, Susie. We we all want that, and we all Infinity want. Infinity War is going to be awesome. I mean, we just got the Black Panther confirmed. Even though it's like we know these characters are going to be in the movie, they, we, right. it's still nice to the see that they thing, get officially and, and here's confirmed. the thing: we're going to have to see is if it has some of the if it can correct the very few mistakes made in Civil War. Every movie has mistakes, and even Civil War has a few. Civil of them. War was good. Oh, man. it's an amazing. It's probably the best. Of its kind of bringing together. There's no even, no better even movie in the None. TV series. Because you're not going to see that many characters interacting and interacting well. And we have that and on, story and on, on these that, characters and, and on we that have high level. I mean, yeah, we so have crazy. such hey, good characters. Even in Black with Black Panther, Lee isn't even oh, wait, Lee. remotely close to the right type to play Harley Quinn. She, I, I mean, she probably isn't. I would have seen the barber, maybe if not for the whole. But we don't know, you know. Right, the whole. Ex- especially the way girl. comic books and and specifically Gotham has worked <laughs> right, since right. season two. And you know, do you know, you know what Butch? And yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Sol- the solemn. Mm, yep. Mm, we Born on a Monday. <laughs> 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 What's up, Eric? Good to see you, man. Yes. Hey, welcome everybody. And like I said, we're giving. We also didn't talk about our prize, but we have them. I'm assuming these are the ones laid right here in front. Uh, yep. So we've got uh, Justice League of America here. That's one of the choices. Oof. And another issue of Justice League of America. This one is specifically has Wonder Woman on it. And uh, I think I had this one picked out. Yep. Then another Justice League of America, guys. I don't really read that too much Wonder um, Woman, but I've got a couple of these picked out. Nice. For yeah, we'll definitely have pictures after the cast, and I actually just sent out the comics and stuff today, guys. A bunch of guys are going to be getting prizes. Um, a couple people in Denver, and I've sent it all in the mail today, so you guys should be getting your prizes very soon. Please let us know if let you get us them know. And when. And please snap a picture to us. Let yep. us know that you got it, and hopefully they'll be there. Hi, so, Andre. Uh, hey, Andre. Mikey, thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you. We're we're at twelve. We passed ten viewers now. Yeah, and we're, we're doing good, 13. guys. Hey, everybody, thank you so much. Thank you so much. For and coming so, Wonder out. Woman, we talked, is is really good at portraying the character. And what I mean by that is, 
a young Wonder Woman, not the Wonder yeah, Woman you're not used the to seeing, like Justice brick, League, mortar, or, like or breaking down, breaking down multiple, multiple, multiple buildings in her path. You know, just beating the crap out of Superman so many different times. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just hey, what's up, Edward? What thank you for coming in. Appreciate you Good to see you, man. the live stream. Thanks for commenting. And uh, yeah, we're we're basically talking about Wonder Woman and stuff, and all other comic stuff, you know, movie stuff, nerd stuff in general. Mm-hmm. Talking, and, and you can see in certain points in the movie the youngness of oh, Diana yeah. and that character, and, and some and of the, the not the necessarily thing. the naivety, but maybe the some of the lack of knowledge, lack of choice, right? Which is know. yes, na- naivety, but like in a different way. Like she understands, but she doesn't understand in the in frame the, of the world. Yeah, she yeah. doesn't understand where she's at. Jal got it is. A total badass though that was that the fighting scenes and that's that's one of the other things way way more fighting scenes that's how you know it's a marvel movie mm-hmm. too because there was fighting scenes throughout the entire movie Guys the only other on the feet. oh yeah the, uh, even the thing is a, a fight scene doesn't have to be long to be impressive no not at all now having said that a long they, fight scene is awesome oh uh, it's like she did james uh, i didn't have an issue with her portrayal just the way they the unfolded it they unfolded it. i okay. I, I can understand that a little bit, two, two points. One, the villain, which I won't talk about it, but I don't like that that was the villain for this movie, actually, even though I was impressed with the portrayal for the most part. I didn't either. I felt like he two needed soon. more, yeah, more time. More time. Hey, more time. Like, who would we go from there? <sighs> and we won't talk about <laughs> I know it, but it's where so do we hard go? to really go up. Yeah, how you go to Cheetah was, or the something? was extremely disappointing. True <laughs> to you, not you to You go to, like, Cheetah, bro? Like, right, come that's on. what I was like, come like, on. Just, like, like, that's pretty juvenile at this point. And, like, I know how the movie <laughs> yeah. However, I know. But I thought it was so game. awesome. I was like, ah, I felt like this just. I can't. I can't spoil. But nope, not I even can't, that. I like, can't. all right. So we <laughs> go from that. Now much. we even go from that villain to the villain who we were pretty sure is going to be Justice League. That eventual, Wolf. right? But the eventual even end villain of that one. Mm-hmm. We're oh, seeing the, dark, yep. the apocalypse tech. We know he's coming. There's no way he's not. You know what I mean? Dark side's on his way. Oh, absolutely. We're definitely going to see him. And we're actually supposed to see Black Adam at some point yeah, in the next crazy. few films. He's coming before Shazam, so that means he's going to well, be Well, he's in... probably in Aquaman then, right? Uh, is that the, the Aquaman? The choices, yeah, the choices are Justice League, uh, Cyborg, or Aquaman. Because Flash doesn't got a movie right now, right? Because they're still looking for a director. Uh, Flash does not have a movie yet. Well, he does, actually, but they're still looking for that director. Right, right. Which, like, hopefully, like, Kevin Smith will pick it up. I know some I'm people disagree, on, but come I'm on. I'm planning on seeing it this weekend. Heard a bunch of mixed reviews, but mostly positive. I would say it's, it's amazing. Mostly, I, I really like it. Susie doesn't like it. I will say... I love it, Eric. I, Go see it, yeah, my man. I, I, if you I, haven't I checked out it. my review, by the way, guys, oh, yeah. check it out at theblurryblog.com. It is detailed. Everything Kevin in a no-spoiler style. Yes, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. Smith. I want Kevin Smith to take control of the DCEU with, not Zack Snyder, but with uh, Jeff Johns. Somebody else, because I just need, I want Zack Snyder to get out of the way. My thing is, Jeff Johns has been the creative lead at the comics now for years. That would be awesome if he came in, but... He works as a production advisor, but if he's not the main... I know, and that, does he want to be the main? Maybe he's I think he does in, like... things? Does he? Has he put in any requests? I haven't I seen know. anything. I want the Kevin thing is, Smith if you put in control. a request like that, <laughs> yeah. people forget you can't just ask for these That's things That's true, you publicly, gotta be asked, but, I mean, company. come on now. I know. It's, it's like they haven't thought of him at all, so... Well, like, I, I think it's because he's already on, but like I said, without giving someone the control they're supposed to have, I want Kevin Smith... Yeah. Of everything, oh god. What's up, Ariana? Hey, Josh. How's it going? Wow, we're at 16 views, guys. Thank you, guys. We're doing great this week. It's going awesome. Yeah, Wonder Woman. What did you guys think? Let us know. If you've seen it, tell us what you think. If you haven't seen it, tell us what you think. It's going to be like 2020. I'd be down for that. Me too. Jim Lee. Uh, You are amazing, Leo. An amazing person. Aw, thank you. Thank you so much. It is a, a fantastic movie. That is the truth. And... Oh my goodness, I, I could go every weekend, to be honest with you. I could uh, see that every weekend, bro. Watch the beautiful again. scenery, the, the intro scene was say, so amazing, and this was amazing, something, so I will say, emotionally gripping. It was. The, that's what made it so great, was the intro. Because I will say, looking back, the last half is more drawn out. than It the is a half. little bit. And, and I, but, I, I, the, but the powerful hey, first what's up, part... Aisha? Thanks for coming out. 
The powerful first part keeps people invested. We got a couple comments oh, back. I love Kevin Smith and would love to see him join, but he's a huge gamble. It could ruin him and put a dent in the East. I don't think he's a very big gamble. Almost everything he, he, he does. He did the Flash. He did a well, couple other right, so things. Even, like, he does more comic book like, shows. Even more than that. Anything that's not his own personal idea, like Clerks, Jay and Silent Bob, Moose Jaws, uh, the other one he has. Anything he does with somebody else. Dogma. Uh, even the even the Clerks and stuff have done well. I didn't well think Dogma own. was that great. Oh, I love Dogma. It is Probably one of my favorite. What I felt the parodies. first half of the movie was a snore fest. Oh man, oh, really? really? I thought the first half, first of the movie half was, was awesome. Like far and, the you best. know, there's battles and we won't go too far. But I like it because of character development. Yeah, like I said, definitely. It's so you want to have that bit of the pl- the background, like and like, but it wasn't it wasn't man of steel heavy because we had Planet on Krypton. We had childhood. We had like a little bit of team. We had before he had grown up. Yeah, that's up too much. We saw Superman. Diana like, I was like three no. times in her life, and they were all one was long, one was very short, and one was medium, medium leading line. into yeah, medium size. Yeah, what I felt the first. Yeah, oh that's yeah, that's the last one. But oh my goodness, guys, have, who's soon who's seen Wonder Woman? It seems like a lot of people have or haven't seen it. Like it seems kind of split. Yeah, does, I'm surprised more people didn't rush out. I yeah. think, like I said, it's the difference in like fandom. Like uh, Wonder yeah, Woman has just always, always been pulling yeah. so many. People. The first 25 minutes was awesome. The last 25 minutes was awesome. Everything in between. I yes can't and no. Say that, Not 100. percent Like I said, I thought it was a good movie. Awesome. I thought it was a, a good movie, and it's just one of those ones where I guess. It's, and I don't understand why DC movies great. tend to be so polarizing. I, I don't know why they tend to even, like, not have these humorous quips that they had in this movie and not even have all the oh, action scenes everything about the comedy movie. in this movie made it way more I haven't more seen it, which is crazy for me since I'm all about woman power. I thought you would have seen it as well, but I, you, check I, it out. It is amazing, amazing. Leo will not bend his opinion. Well, oh, I mean, it's our all. opinion, yeah, so, you we know. have to... You know, I mean, I'll, I objectively I'll look at it, like I said, and, and see... Certain issues with a of the villain choice, but that's not a huge issue for me. And I will say I'm coming from a it's stance not where I'm more of a Justice League thing. fandom than I am a Wonder Woman. Uh, so I do yeah. like some Wonder Woman media. There, I seen the 2009 movie, which was fantastic. The animated one, and yeah. I read some of the comics, I but I haven't read a, a lot of them. And you said Rebirth wiped her everything. everything ba- right? Well, it's weird, and it only what wiped happened? anything to do with the Amazon. Wait, did we? The Batman cup is huge. Yeah, it's yeah a big Batman man. Cup. It is it's full of uh, water. I will admit that one of it's one of the stronger entries. Exactly, Definitely, it is. That's my thing. I'm not saying is it it's better. Be- is it and their that's best? the thing. People are hyping it up too much. It's like, all right, 93 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Cool. We got to wait for the first reviews to finish through. The first wave. Yeah, it's gonna drop, man. It will. It'll continue it to drop. It'll. It'll. It might even be at 92 90. now. I don't know. It probably uh, hasn't dropped that quite dude. far. After this weekend. Well, that's the thing, and that's what we're seeing is not a lot of people have seen Wonder Woman, so we're still waiting for reviews, apparently. Everything about Batman is huge. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I got that joke. <laughs> but he not was this like, little he, Batman. There was like a meme where he, Batman's head all the other Justice League members are like training in the gym. Yeah. You got Wonder Woman doing some uh, push-ups, and you got Superman doing some like curls and stuff. You got all these Justice League characters busting their butt. And then all of a sudden, you have Batman in the corner eating a Burger King sandwich, stuffing it in his mouth. I'm getting, like, a, I'm getting a live review, basically, from my cousin on Batman vs. Superman right now. It's, he's barely seeing it for the first time now because he's had nine oh. teeth pulled. And he figured he might as well pull another tooth while he was at well, it. Well, uh, yeah. And, that's definitely and gonna yank so two or far, three teeth out. He's bored, isn't he? Oh, he's like... Here's the, here are the comments verbatim. Watching Batman vs. Superman finally. Sucks so far. Wow. Batman <laughs> brands people now. What the fuck? This movie is such Batman crap. does worse than just Oh, no, no. He, I know. He's Like I said, he's sending me this as he's watching the movie. This is Burger King like a, is bomb. Don't hate. Wrecked. Ooh, wrecked. <laughs> yeah, he got wrecked, y'all. Uh, and then, he yeah, this movie is such crap. Now he has Gatling guns on the fucking Batmobile and he's murdering people. This movie is so worthless. That are the literal quotes. He's right. Guys, he's right. Oh, the movie was terrible. Batman vs. Superman? Awful. Awful. Look. The comic book, though. Even the Ultimate Edition. Why couldn't they just do it like the animated edition? 
If they'd have copied that piece for that piece, formula that formula would have been amazing. But their animated movies are so good. They, well, and why is because they're so accurate. Like I was yep, just reading Dark Knight again. Accurate. Yeah, I was just reading Dark Knight again. So good. So so good. Man, that's a really good. I seen clips series. and didn't even watch it. Oh man, well, oh, you gotta bad. watch. BVS, you have to watch have the movie to watch though it. before you can to, judge to it. To complete, like, yeah, just you gotta watch your judgment. Like, I, that's the thing. I never stop halfway through and say a movie was bad. Yep. You got to go to the to end, man. You got to go to the end. You know what I mean? And if I don't finish, judgment. all I say is I couldn't finish the film. I never well, say it was say, bad. I just... The Dark Knight was good, too. The Dark Knight series, but that's not DCEU. That is not. And this, and this is what I'm saying. I'm saying Actually, this was a really this, good DC film. I forgot. This is, right. yeah, this is Christopher Nolan, too. This yep. isn't Jack, Zack Snyder. No. So... Yeah, we, we'll Zack talk. Snyder's DCEU introduced. And and Man here's Steel. the other thing we talk about that's not a lot. It's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, it is. That we don't talk about a lot when we compare films is we compare a lot of the times gross, uh, you know, made on the film, but we don't often consider how much was spent on the film. Yeah, which yeah we were in, talking about that In earlier. general terms, DC spends more money spends on their a films. a lot. 200 to 250 per film is the general average. Um, and then you have Marvel films, which lean on a uh, one less, to two, one to two, one fifty to two hundred. Because oh, they, they the use Galaxy one, was, too. Some of them was two hundred. Yeah, that's that, one. Of, that's their biggest one. It though, is, is uh, either Guardians and two that or, made eight hundred dollars. That's a six hundred dollar profit. That to, matters. How much do they bring in beside you know what did they put in and what did they get out of that? Yeah, because that's what real success is. Got some comments. Uh, I personally love Batman versus Superman. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm to I, each I, their own. I, yeah, I, I, I won't. Like I won't him. knock. I've seen someone defending Lex, saying people were hating and annoyed by him. So obviously, he played a brilliant Lex because he's supposed to be annoying. Lot. Well, not really though. Lex isn't annoying. Lex is not annoying. He's, he's cunning. He's it's sinister, sinister, and, 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 and very broody. Like, like it's very hard to d- compare Lex to, to another character because Lex Luthor is a very individual, even as a villain. He if, stands out among the if crowd. If anything, this guy was definitely more of like a Joker ripoff or some kind of I like feel Riddler. Like, well, or and he's I'm supposed like, to no. be Lex's son. So first of all, let's get a couple things straight. <sighs> People don't remember. There's every Lex Luthor is Alexander Luthor. Yep. There's Alexander, there's Alexander Luthor, 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 Alexander Luthor Junior, and Alexander Luthor the Third. So they don't tell me which Junior he's playing. It could be the Junior. Alexander Junior is the one that have is not is the bald one. The original Luther had long red hair. Or what? or it's the other way around. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. Because oh. 90s Superman, his main villain is Lex Luthor. Yeah. But it is not the original Lex Luthor. The baldy. Yeah, so, okay, so the original Lex Luthor's bald. And so this one we're getting doesn't have a, the beard, doesn't have the age. But he's not, he doesn't have the beard, he doesn't have the age, he doesn't have the body, he doesn't have... Any of it, really. He doesn't have the personality. I thought Smallville Lex Luthor was better than him. Yeah! And Small- I mean, Smallville Lex Luthor is nothing to write home about. $300 million opening weekend for Woman Woman. Yep. Uh, I don't and think Guardians of the Galaxy is up to $800 million Which is crazy. I saw Wonder Woman in the movie. Half. exceeded all my expectations. The movie was phenomenal and was wonderful. I felt... You read the comics. I don't know if it's it beautiful. Exceeded, though, which, which movie? Batman vs. Superman? The Batman <laughs> vs. Superman comic, yes. Beautiful. Movie, not so Not so much. <laughs> I personally love Batman vs. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, like I said, I also thought Wonder Woman was great. I don't know if it exceeded all of my expectations. It definitely met many it of met them. It met mine. And, and I was I was expecting it to be what it was, and it met my expectations very well. Probably hit most of the marks for me. There are a yep. couple things here and there. That's why I give it, it, it an my, eight and a half. It gets my mark. Of, yep. Yeah, but it... it it hits it right on the target for me. And that's what the other ones need to do. GG2. And, and, and I think that's a lot of that's pulling away a little bit from Wonder Woman is the stiff competition this year. Oh, wow. Like, if this Spider-Man movie had Home been... Home. Justice League. I mean, think about it. If this movie Justice had been released League, last year... This would have been perfect for it. Wonder Woman would have been in the standing probably for almost every... It would have been competing harshly with Deadpool. Yep. But it would have been... Ooh, even that's hard waters, man. It is. That was, but that would be... Was... But that's the only one. Every Suicide Squad would not have stood a chance. Nope. Even Strange... Well, not... Strange... Oh. But no, no Strange, Strange wouldn't have stood a like... chance against Wonder Woman because of popularity. More yeah, exactly. Even if the movie itself wasn't... So that would have hurt Strange a little. If you read the comments... Oh, yeah. That's... Um, but no, nah, dude, I mean... I wanted to think be about Wonder Woman for most of the movie. Lex was amazing for what he was, not what he was supposed to be. I agree. 
Eisenhower actually played a better Lex than I thought he would. Not oh, the Lex. Oh. No. Not the Lex. Oh, I I expected nothing and was somewhat pleasantly surprised by the fact that he was at least. Oh, no. He was at least a villain. He was a villain, but get a freaking Lex is gonna just. I know, at but least like be I said, I, I, ex- at the trust very me, least. I I was expecting him to be playing the Riddler. You know what I mean? Yeah, exa- that would be pretty weird, but I think it would be cool. all right for him. Riddler, he's awesome. So he's and he's like off. If if it was the Riddler, I think I would have liked him and appreciated him a lot more. Casting's important. It is. It doesn't have to be perfect or even specific, but it does have to be powerful. And I don't feel like he, in my opinion, Lex was not the most powerful. Gal Gadot was the most powerful part of Batman vs. Superman for me. She was. Yeah, I was like, wow, Wonder Woman is awesome. And then we get this movie. The movie's awesome. We love this character. Let's hope that Justice League follows up well. Is it Justice League coming out near Star Wars? Bad idea for either uh it's coming out in november so it I gives it a that, month of at least i think it'll be all right i think there's enough difference be- yeah, between especially the star, star wars, wars and the justice League. especially stuff. since i don't think they're doing the focus on superman now yeah. if they were focused on krypton they might have problems with the space theme stuff but, yeah, even but then, superman's gone we don't well, have the alien even then every story should interact with earth which star wars obviously never interacts with earth basically if you read the comic <sighs> it's beautiful Comic is definitely beautiful. I agree, Dante. New JL December. November JL December. Oh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yes, yeah, yeah, is. exactly. It gives Using it a full month. His Dark Force powers against the Preds. Wait, who? Dark Force. Thor. Cloak. Also November. Yeah, yeah. And that one looks like it's gonna be that. Good. Oh man, that's a that's another thing. Like I said, competition stiff. Now I think being different types of movies will help. Both of them. Absolutely, especially the tone of Thor. Even though I know <sighs> it's going to be deeper, it is. I mean, there's on. a war going on here. Let's be yeah. honest, but it's going to Thor be could awesome. surprise people. Think I think it's going to be good. I don't think there's going to be scroll up Thor. Also, okay, there's a guy dressed on Darth Vader. The hockey game tonight. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. The movie I'm most excited for is Spider Man. Finally, we get the Spider Man we've always deserved. Exactly. I, I gotta wait until I see him. He looks like he's gonna be what we need. <sighs> Lex was it awesome. Yes, feels it like it's I gonna be it great, to be guys. It and feels like. I but think it if will. I, I really hope the, we've seen the trailer. I really hope he doesn't just pull the vulture up and it, the the plane ride is what defeats him. I'll be so pissed off. There's so much that's got to be done. They, I'll they be have to really add mad, guys. So like I'll be like, all right, so here's that the can't thing, be how it here's ends. The, thing, the vulture, the vulture beats Spider Man the first time in the comics. I think he does in this one, too, though. I don't think that's going to be their first encounter, It won't either. be, definitely, but I, I, that's how I hope it goes. You know, I hope he doesn't, like, be... Oh. Like, oh. Like, Unfortunate. That, out the, out the way. that happens. I mean, the bar is set low. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I mean, it's... Uh, the Thor movies haven't been winners, but they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be Thor backstory. We could use What does less everybody Iron think Man about like is I, I agree, less Iron Man and Spider Man. <laughs> Real quick, what does everybody think about some of these other ideas coming up like Nightwing, um, Gotham City Sirens? What are you Bat guys Girl. thinking about that? Batgirl. I mean Josh that's tons. Uh, Captain Marvel, we've got yeah. Oh and, and, and she would have married to talk, Wonder Woman. Let's like, not let's, see. Can we talk even more about as much as I'm excited for the film universe, we've now established the fact that the film universe is viable. It, the comic book theorem hat does work. It oh, makes absolutely. money. Yes, it, it does. And and it but doesn't look movie... to be. And people have been predicting the downfall of it, and it shows no signs. Are you of talking slowing about down. comics, comic book movies, movies. Yeah, no, it has not slowed down. The, the, in the past even because I can't remember who years. was talking about. It. It's like it's going to be a fad. It's going to go out. But unfortunately, I don't think it is. I think no, we just because we can keep on moving on to well, other characters. characters. Not unfortunately, Spider Man is going to be interesting because I feel like we've basically seen the movie based. I thought so too, and let me—that was the point I was gonna uh, make about that. But one sec, I'm gonna address some other comments. Adrian Toga, I'm happy they made Vulture an actually terrifying villain. He's so derpy. Scoot that over here a little. Oh, I can't see. Yeah, sorry about that. There we go. That? He's see. Steven Spielberg said comics would die like westerns. Yeah. Nope, not gonna happen. Yeah, it's not happening so far. Granted, we haven't gone too terribly far we got another 10 years to see but, yeah i'm but happy think, they made vulture an actually terrifying villain 
He's so derpy looking in some comics. He definitely yeah. is. Oh, for a long time. No, no, time I meant Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Michael as the Vulture is perfect. I think Keaton plays yeah, a Keaton very looks good like vul- a great Vulture. One thing I want that I'm not seeing in this one is the aging thing, but I don't think they're going to use it. Nah, they won't. Which I really this wish is they a would. a new version of Vulture, so I know. Probably but not it would be it. such a cool aspect to add in. It would, but it's I'm so okay original. without it. I'm like, I am, it, but it's, it, one it's one of those. It's one of those. Canon things that would make it slightly a little bit better, better maybe it's, if they could fit it in better character. though. I think so, man. The the whole aging thing was something that not only provided him with power, but provided him with a disguise. disguise yeah, it provided it, him it, with yeah, no idea. It was very. It was, it was what cool. made his character. It was cool, honestly. definitely. Because just but being this the vulture new, at that and time, and it might he might be doing that as we speak. We, it might be. You knocked Wonder, Wonder Woman. Dude. I know. I'm sorry. I do that all the time. Uh, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Did anyone catch the season premiere of Fear, Fear the, the Walking, Walking Dead? Dead? No, I want to so get back in on you that. Knocked her over, dude. Hello, thank you. Kong yeah, Lewis. Batman staying okay over also, here. I take care of my toys. Axel over but there to be, knocking them down. To be fair, mine's has a lower center. Uh huh. Sure. Your, he, yeah. Shut. Yeah. See, look. Whatever. She does. Look how short yeah, she is. Yeah. Of course. And if, look at the stance of. I'm telling you, she she's so that. like I'm not even touching yeah, it. Yeah. Sure. And it's already sure. Falling. Look, you're the one touching nah, it. Nah, man. See, he's uh-huh. knocking her over there. Yeah. Sure. Blaming sure. it on no, me. No, not at all. Moving <laughs> the laptop. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> leaving the leaving yeah, the you cast You moved the laptop on. and that knocked it over. Leave under what we want. Cast on. Oh man! Fear the Walking Dead. Sad, sad face. face. I thought oh. it was all right for the first season. I haven't seen the second season still. Hooray, Hooray for, for Batman! Batman. Thank, Thank you, Leo, for, for always repping my man. Yeah, Batman's a man. Oh, man. And if y'all seen the end of Gotham, it was pretty fire. You know what happened? And oh my goodness, it was a great ending. It was a very good wow. ending. Wow, Owl Man theory though. <laughs> That was the thing, too. People were like, oh, Arrow, this. I don't know. I've, I haven't seen the Arrow finale, but I like the Gotham finale way oh, better than the Flash it. finale, unfortunately. I like you know, the Flash yeah, finale. You know, yeah, and I, and I, I We agree. talked about the problems of the Flash agree. finale in our our finale, which yeah. you guys could check out if you wanted to watch just some of so our old ones. and blah, blah, blah. It's no like, spoilers. We don't do spoilers. No worries, James. Damn, Gotham. Epicness. Epicness. All we, all we, the only spoilers we'll do is tell you if something's good or bad, unless you check out our series Spoiler Sessions, which yep, will hopefully which, get some new episodes up soon. Absolutely. We've just Gotham been, is on the way. Just it's been, been all real over. busy. But, yes, Gotham Epicness. was awesome. It was a really good one. Um, and, and the best thing about Gotham is it always leaves you like, hmm. It does it have the question, like, what's yeah. going on? What's How gonna are we going to... We're, and that's what I like about it. Because it's a pre-story, it's very hard sometimes to deviate in meaningful ways that mm-hmm. make surprises effective. But in this, this is They're, Batman tor- territory that we haven't explored. So they made their own, pretty much their own universe. It is its own universe. And anything could happen. Hello, Psy. Did we miss one from Psy? Oh, it's probably one, you know, but I'm not... On one hand, I'm not crazy about, about Spidey's AI suit, but it's different from what we've seen before. It is. It's also very comic book accurate yeah, so is. far. <laughs> uh, so that's what I was like. And so many questions. Yeah, we're trying to catch up. It's been great today, by the way, guys. Everything's awesome. Thank you for the comments and the Thank you guys for likes, everything. everything. And, 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 you like, know, and you guys it. come back. A lot of you guys come back every week, and we see new folks coming. We we love the conversations, guys. Yep. Keep on coming and, back and checking In fact, we take a second to thank our patrons who... Uh, help us out yep. to get Susie prizes. Susie Marie, like thank you very much. Cy Kennedy and Tyler Lockridge, thank you guys so much for your patronage. We, it has been amazing, amazing seeing the show develop every week. And it is a big part of you guys and the others that come back and visit as well. And Definitely. even the newcomers. Oh, yeah. This and is and a hopefully huge everyone, help for us we, guys. We really want to tell everyone, anyone's welcome on the page. In our Anybody, group, at any point in time. Thank you, Ariana. Thank you. Okay, guys, want to hear your take. In BVS, was Doomsday flying or just jumping? It seemed to me like he was... It seemed like a little bit of jumping or... It seemed like a somewhat mix sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes he seemed to be making movements. Because it seemed movements. like he went up high and seemed like he was making some speedy movements. Like, like in, sideways that yeah. he wouldn't be and, able and, to and make. And it was the jump. same with Wonder Woman for me. I'm like... I, it's very it's hard to because they're just like jumping across scene pretty much that whole scene yeah, and, and, like and often like scene. you're not getting the connecting scene where it's like okay what did they with the exception of Batman that he's the only one they ever show because yeah. everyone's like well how does Batman move around <laughs> 
creeping and crawling clap, around. Clap, clap, clap. But that would be my best on the Doomsday one because he didn't always seem to be jumping. He always yeah, often it seemed, seemed like to there be making some weird... levitation-ish like stances. Even and just jumps. like stuff like you know how they see the ones where it's like whoosh up in the air and then whoop forward kind of thing. Like mm-hmm. some mixes of that. Yeah, because like is it a jump with some momentum or is it like a fly? Because he right. comes up and then takes off. The thing was, I felt like they didn't cover it well enough that to, like, flight at all just wasn't that great in that movie it wasn't if they wanted that to be flight it wasn't depicted well at all no you are more than welcome always got support for you guys hey thank you and thank you for thank the cor- you, question Corey and thank you for the compliment Susie yeah thank and thank you, you for the clap for the clap James clap for you too because you deserve it heck yeah claps are terrible you always have to have two people clapping you are oh wait same one and so can we talk about another thing in the Batman versus Superman Donna Justice being the whole body of Zod Doomsday switch in Batman versus Superman? Yeah, yeah, that was very very awkward. Like, what? How does that make sense at all? Clap for me, damn it! Clap for you, Susie. Wonder if they will ever address Wonder Woman not flying. Like, what? Oh shit. Should- Mm-mm. She, uh, we can't she, spoil. Does she fly? No, not in Batman vs Superman. There's like long jumps. I'm telling you, they're across screen. I'm telling you, they never really kind of. It's just about like it. nah, they don't really depict that well. Adrian, have you seen Wonder Woman though? I mean, to be fair though, Wonder Woman's early depictions do not predict put, uh, depict her flying. flying at all. She gains no, that. She gains that slightly that later. later. Not too much later, but slightly. thank you, LMAO. <laughs> You're welcome, Susie. You, you can have a clap from us anytime, anytime, any day. Wonder Woman doesn't fly in all of her iter- in all of her versions. She flies in quite a few though. Quite like probably like half at least. Yeah. Mostly as an adult. In Justice League and the two thousand nine movie. A we That's how I would describe Batman in one word awkward, oh man. Yeah. Nice one, Adrian. It's just like squished up, like it, you feel like tight and tense seeing Batman vs. Superman because it sucked. She uses her invisible jet to go around. <laughs> There's a lot of versions of oh, she I'm telling you, that. she's been retconned. She currently can fly in DC Rebirth, yep. just for everybody's yes. info. Yes. It's one of the powers her granted to her by the gods. Awesome. Not originally. Yeah, not originally. No, not originally. It was, a, nope. it was a gift she gained later. It was not an original jet. jet. Originally, she would flow around in the invisible jet. But it was not. It for, it's not for as long as most people think. She gets flying fairly quickly. Yeah. Within like 10 years of her creation. And that's quick. Yeah, especially for especially a comic for character. how long she's been around. Yeah, well, it, it, we just like, dude, character. it took like Superman like 10 or 15 years to fly. Probably longer. Ugh. It took a long time. They talk about think about it. They, I mean, you know, they didn't really incorporate flying at first. It was just Superman walking around as leaping a, tall. Yep. Building. Yeah, that's where it comes from. And that's why I say, like, they talk about it. Namor was still flying, was flying around while Supes was still leaping tall buildings. You know. Seth, Seth. Hey. What's up, man? Nice to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while. Rebirth, yes, but that's not OG Wonder Woman. Uh, I mean... Not like I said. It depends on how far you go back. Are we talking Golden Age, Ooh. Silver Age? Are we talking? What are we talking? Because I believe is it Silver, Silver Age she that gets flies. Flies? Yeah. Let's see. When does when does so? Let's when does she get flight? Yeah, because I don't exactly know, man. I'm I'm not a Wonder Woman fan. Yeah, me but... either. I only know like basic facts. When does yeah. Wonder Woman gain the power of flight? Post crisis. Wow, that wow. was actually a while. Eighty five. Oh, that's right. Though it, the reason I'm confused oh, is they rebooted it to say that she could fly from the start. Mm-hmm. So that's why the I'm reboot. confused. So when they rebooted after Infinite Earths, they retconned her story to say that from the beginning Wonder Woman could fly. Fly, and we don't like, know if she can in the well. In the movies, we're not yes, sure. Yeah. Uh, in the. Uh, DC Rebirth, currently, she can fly. That's awesome. That's good to hear that she at least has that power. I like the flight for her. I think it makes her character more rounded out. Makes her more powerful. Mm -hmm. Rebirth, yes, not OG. I will try to choke down Supergirl this summer, see how much I can get through. Same. Uh, It's on Netflix (laughs) now, so. By the way, thanks, Susie. She suggested that we can start on Season 3 of Arrow. And pretty much wiki everything else. Really? Sweet. Yep. You can pretty much just wiki everything else and start on Arrow Season 3. I would love to do that. Sweet. 
And I heard that one is like one of the best seasons. I've heard good things about one season three. three and and threes this new are one is usually amazing, good seasons yeah. from most. Tough them. I mean, I mean, think about most series that make it to three or past uh, three. Really, more, you know, more they're worth it. Definitely. Game of Thrones. Season Game of three of Daredevil awesome. two been confirmed. <sighs> Season, oh, two season two of was Luke Cage. so good of Daredevil. I'm Dude, just like, oh I can't my wait. God, I, can we better. better get some cameos. Oh, I absolutely. demand cameos. We have to get I something demand going. cameos. Something has to happen. While discussing Wonder Woman, I'm kind of sad Steve Trevor was Chris Pine. I was still holding up for Hal Jordan. I. Uh, I didn't really Chris find him Pine? impressive yeah. on I thought either was, end. I thought he was fine as a Steve. Yeah, Trevor. he was a he was like a filler he was character. Like, boom. boom. Yeah, what? I had somebody else at my job actually talk about that a lot to, uh, the other day. He was saying that he wished that uh, Chris Trevor was like a more important character, and I'm like, eh. he served his purpose, and that he, was it for me. I was like, he's not a. I will say, Captain Susie, Susie made some points about his role as a motivator. But we'll talk about that. And I like I, I like that actually. Well, just because I didn't, she didn't like that, and I actually agree with her that that's not. My thing about it is, it's like he's kind of like a more of a cheerleader than anything, in my opinion. That's true. I do like that that he was never the. He thing. was never jumping in in the main focus. Right. He was never was like say he doesn't get a background. Well, like, he summarizes his we'll background no. in like a yeah. That's well, awesome. Mm, 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 it's mm, pretty mm, quick. Mm, it's yep. real fast. But we won't go too far because seasons we won't one and two can be skipped. Just read the summaries, summaries for each. Start awesome. with three. Thank you, Susie. I think Ryan Reynolds will make a good Green Lantern. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sai. That was you an awesome reference. With that one. Oh, man. Still make the super suit green. Hey, 15 people. Thank everybody for watching. Thank you for commenting. And, you know, wow, keep it 16. Up. Thanks, guys, and, uh, for coming uh, out. Just to keep you guys informed, we also make uh, memes. Me and Leo, we yep. make them here on Instagram. Every day. Uh, all the time. There's one every day here. Our Patreon gets some extra special ones for... Our uh, you know, Sai and Susie can tell you how great those are if they yeah, want. Yeah, guys, and we, you get exclusive green, content, no. you get shout outs. And by the way, um, anybody who does some of our more advanced packages could eventually appear on the cast. Like, it's a possibility. We're, we're working our way on hopefully making trips to different Comic Cons and places <sighs> so great. that we will be able to get everybody inclusive. Right now, it's Denver, Colorado. Oh, mostly, absolutely. Or Aurora, yeah. most, more specifically. Uh, but, you know, Denver being the, the mon, the capital city that's close the by, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so we'll, we'll hopefully do the similar stuff in places near, like, San Diego, Their New awesomeness. York. awesomeness. Thank you for making them. Of oh, course, hey, Susie. You, which, I don't know, which one is your favorite, uh, patron exclusive, Susie? Do you, do you have one? Do you want to share one you with the guys share? here? Yeah, you don't have yeah, to. You, you pay don't for have that, to. so you don't but have But that would be awesome if you tell us which one you really yeah, like. Yeah, like, just, like, find your favorite one and be like, this is my favorite one. Yeah, you guys definitely. Because you don't have it. That's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. What's up, James? No, yeah. no, he's Deadpool and is not allowed to play anything else. Agreed. That's At least in the comic book. Yeah. Well, the problem is he just plays him so well that... <sighs> so well. And he just so did not do the so greatest good. as has Hal Jordan. No, I didn't like him as... Be. Maybe Kyle Rayner? I think that's even more Guy Gardner, maybe. I don't, he just doesn't fit. He's not fit. big enough to be Guy Gardner to that, me. Well, then just hit the gym, but... Yeah, but... Al, he's also guy. not as aggressive. Yeah. Who is the, the fourth lantern? There's four. Kyle. No, no, no. Or not the fourth. The, the, the fifth lantern. The oh, the ones. newest guy? Yeah, but he's not. They wouldn't fit the racial. Uh, and I think that that comic is like some part of Hal Jordan. I, oh, that's works. the real problem. Is it's real? It would be fine if it were not for Hal Jordan. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, like, it's, like ugh, it's like Hal comparing Jordan, it's the just... golden green emerald versus you know like a pea. <laughs> no offense. It's uh, Vendetti's doing a huge job in that one, and that like check out Comic yeah, Combos explained is. for why that is such a good series and why it's so check factually it out, and, uh, all that's so great. It's a hard choice on the spot. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I, I we figured, and like you said, no pressure if you don't. Who like. can play Hal Hal Jordan then? Think about it. Who who has that kind of person that like that kind of? Who do you guys think would be a good Hal Jordan? Who could that be? Uh, Simon something. <laughs> Simon something. Cal. <laughs> Unrelated comment, Payday 2 is free on Steam today for people who don't already... Yep. Definitely saw that and took advantage of it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Sorry. No, I'm doing... I just so, got added as, an, as a moderator to oh, the... Oh, no worries, uh, no worries. Thing, so. uh, Wentworth Miller. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Army Hammer has been mentioned as... Uh, 
the uh, Shazam, right, player? Or who is it? Somebody's cast of Shazam? I think it's Arnie Hammer, yeah. What? I'm, I'm telling you. Has been you. mentioned for Hal mentioned. Jordan, no one's been. Is he Hal Jordan? I thought that was or Arnie Hammer, DC possible cast. Yeah, search that up. I can't remember. Is someone Arnie Hammer to the Green Lantern casting? Green Lantern? Rumors, yeah. Okay, so who is it that's just supposed to be Shazam? I don't yeah. think he's got an official yet. He might not. I don't think he has an What's official. What's up, but DeAndre? Neither does, but neither does uh, Green Lantern. That they're just Arnie rumors. Hammer is Green Lantern, right? Yeah. No, he's just been mentioned. He has mentioned. He yeah. hasn't been picked he yet. Hasn't. Unrelated comment. Payday two. Yeah, yeah, we. Yeah. It's awesome. Thank you, Josh. Sorry. Uh, scroll back to. It's a hard choice on the spot. Let's see. At this point, they need someone with good chemistry with Ezra Miller for House yeah, of Flash. They are very good they friends. People team up, you know, the two of them are great friends. Huge great friends. Great friends. I mean, the What's Rebirth up, DeAndre? comic Thanks line. For by. The Rebirth comic line. Fla- the Flash Rebirth. Rebirth not so a good. And it depicts that friendship in such a solid way. Oh, like, yeah. That friendship is a huge part of that series. That, yeah, that's serious. You have to have these characters be great friends like super or at least close. some of like you know to a point everybody has to have some relationship absolutely like, there cannot man be, there, ca- it has there to cannot be, be anonymity or and that's what i'm hoping justice league do- mention not confirmed for the yeah wentworth miller is actually a bold choice for hal jordan and maybe for they should not confirm i don't know for shazam i don't oh, think so but I'm, i was just I'm like good i don't know i i'm honestly not 100 percent on the current casting so I think he's slightly too skinny to be Barry, honestly. Yeah, because Barry is a big guy. Well, he's not necessarily big, and but I wouldn't he's even not say, tiny. Like, yeah. Well, no, he's he's, he's a like, decent size, man. Like, he's, well, all right. So, are you talking height some, or are you talking athletic? I think uh, he's he's got an. Athletic I imagine build. him as like a track right. runner's build. Uh, thicker maybe up even top, a little bit. Yeah, thicker up top. There you go. So his top is a little bit, a little bit in the, some, and especially in some, it could be spread kind of. A lot of them do that, but my best, my favorite depictions, and it depends on Barry Allen, Wally West, obviously. But I think yeah, because Wally has had some weird. Well, I think also Wally. I think like, Wally is wow. also depicted as generally thinner than Barry to a most extent. of the time. But like I was talking about some of the animated. Oh stuff, well, yeah, but even then, well, Wally. you got to remember the, the Justice League depiction is Wally. It is, yeah. And he's a big dude in that one. Well, what are you guys talk talking about? I said Wentworth Miller for GL. That's what we figured. We were yeah, talking we, about we, the the casting currently for Flash. And we didn't want Wentworth Miller. <laughs> Wait, what are you? Yeah, I don't know about it. Sinestro. Hmm. Wait, Sinestro. Oh, mentioned. I like the guy that played him actually. Yeah, the last movie. The last guy. Sinestro was him. actually the best part of the film. Probably. I wish he was. I kind of wish he's a villain, but it seems like he does need to come later down the line. But Parallax? And that's what I'm in saying. Cloudish, like, like, I was like... That was the thing. That was the Parallax? real trouble. Is Parallax isn't the opener. There was too much non-comic... Like, Parallax would have been a good movie three. Ex- absolutely, because... Well, especially with what's going on with Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, you would know Sinestro now has absorbed the spirit of Parallax, thus restoring all his strength and making him even more powerful... In the ways of fear. He's already Leonard Snart, though. That's true, but people play several. I mean, Keaton. And yeah, you know. you know, people have transitioned. Well, roles. what's it, the new, uh, uh, who is it? It's either ben Affleck the, was Daredevil the, and Batman. The, the, you either die a hero, they had it on uh, or for, uh, become, Or you become more. Yeah, I love that. They had the towel, not the, the, what was the super high school or whatever, super power. Huh? Uh, do you was remember the page? villain from Guardians of the Galaxy? They have the, uh comparison you the die hero or live to see yourself become the villain mm-hmm. he's the hero from that one like comedy superhero one where he's the dad and it's like a superhero high school a superhero oh what do you not remember that one i swear superhero high school it's, it's not a movie yeah i swear come on man superhero high school man i'm telling you super oh the the high the Sky High? Sky High. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That was dope. I was like, what? I was like, come on, man. You gotta know. I can't remember. Like, I'm getting confused. <laughs> Sky with High, movie. man. Ben, ben Affleck, Affleck is not, not Batman. Batman. A lot of people like him, and I don't know why, because I haven't seen enough of him. I haven't exactly. seen enough to like I haven't or seen not enough like. to judge, really. That's the thing. Is The Flash a good TV series? Yes, DeAndre. I think it very it much really is. is. Sky High, thank you, Izzy. He's a damn wannabe. <laughs> My thing is, everyone's just like, they're like, oh, no one likes. Affleck because he's a because they think he's a fat Batman. That's not why we don't want Affleck. He's not. 
really fat. No, that, but that's like the one I always like, see on memes bitch. and people's thing is like, oh, they said he was going to be a fat Batman, but look at how muscular. It's like, that was never the issue with Ben Affleck being Batman. The issue I, was that, casting. It, yeah, I was just like, I hadn't got enough, I, I don't have enough to really judge. I love, I'd prefer I like Affleck as Bats than Cavill as soup so far. Really? I thought Cavill did a pretty what? decent job. I would like to see Liam ne- Hemsworth. Get in Get on in the Marvel Marvel. That would be pretty cool. That would be awesome to have him. I don't know. Who would it. you have him play, though? Yeah, like, what character? Because I... I just have a trouble, like, trying to think of, like, exactly... I know, it's hard to... Sometimes it's hard with certain actors when you throw them in there to, like, cast them as a yeah, some universe that's so built big. already. Oh, God, it's so big. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, there's a million characters... You cast him as anyone, a character... A random character in Thor. Like, he could, hit, he could just be, like, a little side character or something yep. and... Liam is a one-dimensional actor. He's he's a terrible Batman. Even worse, Bruce Wayne. Ouch. That, man, she She's Susie really does him. like. Yeah, Susie's trashing him. Pshaw gave me a Liam Neeson as Bats. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Wow. I have a very particular set of skills. I will find you, and, and I, I will, will justice. Kill you. <laughs> like, <laughs> justice. Wow. Also, I like Ben as Batman way better than Chris Nolan. Law that voice was terrible. God, speaking of some eh. of the DCEU, oh, Savage Sam perhaps <laughs> it will require him to step up his game. True, yeah, a lot. I heard some stuff about the possibilities that the DCEU might explore Flashpoint and Thomas Wayne. Might eventually, eventually, maybe be introduced into the story five or six like, films wow. from now. I mean, at least. I mean, at if not more. Or, yeah, right. Nine or ten. I'm sorry, Flashpoint's a reset. Gosh, that would be crazy, dude. Like, but, but, but already... look at what we're coming up with Marvel. I mean, jeez. Yeah, but how many movies are we into the Marvel Cinematic I know, universe? and I was going to say, are we going to get a reboot after that second Infinity War? I would like to, like, have the Infinity love. Wars, like, kind of just, like, put everything Some back to the summer. Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah. Makes sense for them to explore it. Yeah. I, like I said, it, it's very hard for me because, like you said, like, it's too far away, even though they've already suggested it in B- Bad Neighbors. Oh, that was so such awesome a teaser. That was that as a movie. It was, yeah, it was so cool to see the back. The or I'm talking about the scene in Batman. I think it's Batman vs Superman where Barry's seen future oh, yeah. Barry or Flash, and he's like, "What? Who the hell is this?" In Portal, remember BBS? Yeah, so yeah, it's Batman vs Superman, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, because there's nothing else for it could be in. That has Batman as Ben Affleck. I guarantee, I swear. When he zips up? I thought that was a trailer for Justice League. No, 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 no. The one where he's... he's, No, it's in Batman vs. Are you talking about where they meet, or... No, he's like, they don't... It's like for half a second, and he's like, I'm the past, or I'm too late. I can't remember what he says. One second, let me see. I guess it was BVS because it couldn't be anything yeah, else. Yeah, there's nothing else it can be in. It's like when he's chilling in the Batcave, like thinking about messing with Superman, and he's just like brooding like Batman does. But not and this, can we Batman. talk about this Batman for a second? So. This point, I think too soon. Definitely too soon on Flashpoint, Izzy. Not even one side. Laugh my ass off. Half a beer so far. Wow. Wow. So Jesus. check this out, man. We've got Zack Snyder who talked about his Batman. He talked about BVS Batman and was like. I wanted to make him like the Dark Knight Batman. And I'm like, but we already have Dark Knight Tales. Right. We already have the Dark Knight depicted. Do we need that again? Right. It's like, why are we rehashing the same version even of the same character? Like, admittedly, this character never got to the point where he was openly killing. But if the Dark Knight were to but continue, dark, it would get to that because it's the Dark Knight comics. In the comics, he never does doesn't either, kill, though. but he gets much worse than he got. I oh, thought. he gets super much bad, worse. but he never kills. Like even the so the scene, and, the whole scene. Like people misunderstand that scene of uh, I forget which one is one where, but it's where Batman. People think Batman kills the Joker. What? No. People think that man. They think that scene in the animated comic where it's like. He breaks his neck. That they're like, oh, he killed him there, but he doesn't. The Joker kills himself after Batman breaks his neck to like, make it look like that. Yeah, he continues to move his neck that way until he mm-hmm. dies. Yeah, <laughs> he purposely killed himself. Right, which was something he said. He even, but like a lot of people don't they understand that. Get his ass. Well, guys, that. I'm out of here. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. Thanks for coming by. Susie. Thanks for coming. We'll Thank miss you. Susie. We will miss you too much, though. We absolutely. <laughs> will.
Uh, I thought that was a reference to Injustice when Barry showed up in the portal for BVS. To Injustice? Why would it... Could you elaborate? I just don't know. I don't got the connection in my head. Wait, I thought there you... was an Easter egg for the Justice League movie, so maybe it's just the Justice League then. Yeah, because I'm like, Barry doesn't appear in, in BVS. I swear, man. Let's see. Maybe it was just Barry a doesn't. Yeah, because he doesn't. But agree, I don't remember he doesn't that in pop trailer. up in the in BVS. He's in the grocery store video, and that's it. The surveillance. Maybe, yeah. I was like, what? In, okay, then it must be injustice. Leaked. No, that's not what I'm looking for. But now I gotta go find it and figure it out. Dang. The thing is, Dark Knight trilogy was more a realistic no. feel yeah, of Batman, no, I'm right. even more than he is now. I'm right. So what does it mean to be a music reporter? Sorry, what's that, guys? Sorry, I just don't like being wrong. But Flash cameo scene with Batman vs Superman. Flash. Oh, that. Yeah, that's what I'm that, talking about. That's so what you're this, talking. guys. So I forgot all about that scene. I'll be honest. That's what I'm talking about. She's the key. She's the key. I'm like, what the is going on here? Yeah, dude. The thing is, Dark Knight trilogy was more realistic. Feel the Batman even he more than Bruce's dream. Yes, yeah. which was the whole point of Dark Knight was to be more realistic. It's like, all right, Bruce is older. He can no longer do these incredibly almost superhuman things. Things, at times. yeah. I mean, he you has know. to just start killing people, man. I thought there was talking about how it was always Lois and stuff, and then you see the dystopian future where Supes is crazy working with Darkseid. So, wait, that wasn't Barry? Wait, we see this dystopian future of Darkseid? When did we see what? that? What? Are we talking comic book or movie? Wait, working with Darkseid? Which one? Yeah, I was like, Darkseid? what? Injustice? The only one I remember him working with Darkseid is the alternate universe where he crash lands on Apocalypse. Yeah, where he is and, birthed there. Yeah, and yeah, raised by, raised by, Apoc- by a, uh, Darkseid. Darkseid, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I knew that scene was in that there. That's fine. I'm tripping. I'm like, what? Really so cool. that wasn't Barry. So wait, that wasn't Barry? No, that was Barry, wasn't it? I think that's Barry. I don't know. And I think that's from Batman vs. Superman. Let's Remember. check that out again, if you don't mind. Let's I swear to God, it's more freaking time. Barry. Is that Barry? I swear to God, that's Barry. It's gotta be. It even kind of looks like Ezra, but like with a little bit of scruffle. Plus, he's and running, he, and, and he's like got the whole suit. Yeah, yeah, lightning. It's gotta be the Flash. Okay, maybe so. they are going for injustice though, because he's like that whole speech in there. He's talking about you're right about him. So maybe that's what he's maybe talking about. Maybe it is. Yeah, he was Bruce's dream, talking about how it was always was. Was that a dream? I thought that wasn't. I don't think that was a dream. A vision, more so. I thought it actually happened. Yeah, I think that was Didn't just it? like it a temporal like, anomaly. Boom. Yeah, maybe he woke up and it was a dream. I, I gotta. I will admit, I haven't watched it enough to have memorized that. I watched entire movie. Batman vs Superman twice. Once so so far, I tried again, but oh man, that. That's a good scene, then, if they go for the Injustice timeline. That'd it'll be, be awesome. nice. It'll it'll make that a lot more meaningful. Lois Lane, she's the key. Don't let her die. Don't let her be killed by Superman. Right, she's like the Joker makes him do. And, right, know, right. It would, be, it would be very powerful, happen. especially when it would connect good to their uh, game comics. universe yeah. in oh, comics. Yeah. Have you caught up on the new the newest uh, Injustice? Injustice, yep. Oh, it's so good, man. This last one was... Good, you but it wasn't as up to I'm, par as you wanted it to be. It was, it's very like, it was very leading on to, for at first. Like I'm like, oh shit, you know what right, I mean? right. And now yeah. I have to wait for the next one to see it happen. So and I they, already know it's know, coming because of Booster Gold. Right. No spoilers, really. But it's just like I already know, and now I'm pissed because they make me wait. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hate when comics end off like that. You know, when they make you just drift off and wait for the next one. I don't like that. Uh, I, I don't. I'm just like, come There's on, a man. couple things, and then I don't know if you've end, been reading. Least. I don't know if you've been reading Batman's Rebirth. I have not. It's good. It's I've very on, good. I've been on Red Hood and the Outlaws. Nice. I haven't been on Batman. I need to get on that one. Actually, it's supposed to be really mm. good. Um, really good. Dark Trio. Nice. Awesome. Or, excuse me, Trinity. Dark Trinity. I finished really dope. Game of Thrones, guys. One episode left. Oh man. Hey. Reborn number Game six of was awesome. super good. Reborn. Huh? Which Reborn? Wait, which? Reborn? 
Rebirth, maybe? Maybe it's Rebirth. But I thought he's saying Reborn number six was super good. Beats me. Elaborate, Izzy. Meanwhile, uh, the, Game of Thrones. Maybe he was up. saying number six was good for that. I don't know. But I don't know. Uh, Beats me. Elaborate if you can. But Batman's <laughs> Rebirth, if you check it out, it has a great scene, but there's What's up one with this Catwoman stuff? It's too spoiling. Too spoiling, but also fresh. like. Fresh off the press. It y'all. is pretty fresh. By Mark Miller. Um, I'm not sure I've read it. I have not. I don't know if I've read it. I'm His own comic. His doing. Oh, he made it? Oh, okay. That's cool. AI Image. At, oh, at Image. Comics. At Image. Okay. Oh, at Image. I was like I said, I don't think I've read it yet, so I'll have to go read it. <laughs> Just text is so small. Yeah, we're just like, we're looking in. It's like, whoa. And so we'll, we'll have to check that one out. I've been ca- trying to catch up on some image titles in preparation for the new um, cinematic universe coming out. Um, I think we're getting, we got, didn't we get live action? I think Izzy tagged me that they just did live action covers of a lot of the image comics. Really? Yeah. Please send that to me, guys. I've not seen that. It's really cool, actually. Um, especially if you know the characters, you know what I mean, any of them. i really got to get more acquainted with Image before that universe comes out in case they have big Same, because I don't... It's a good universe. I'm I've liked... Reading image right I've, now. I've basically liked almost every Image comic I've picked up. You know what I mean? Granted, I like most comics I pick up, but... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. It's like not a high A lot of them are stuff. pretty awesome. They are. Comics in general are pretty awesome, guys. Like, never miss out on comics. Oh, man, speaking of comics, Power Rangers. You see, it might not get another movie. Does it it did terrible in the Chinese box office. Oh, really? The Chinese four million. Made it? it made four million dollars in the Chinese. Damn, market. that's not even enough to cover costs of showing. It's not. I'm pretty sure it didn't even break even, or maybe it barely did because of American sales. I mean, I'm sure it did because of American sales, but international like, sales. What are what that's the brings thing, in the, the money, thing, especially the China? Box office is the tiniest portion of anything. If you're not China, China. dude. That's the biggest portion. Also of it all. recommend Cannibal and. You mean Valiant? Oh yeah, I mean Valiant. Sorry, not Images. Uh, Valiant is the one who's coming out with Exo Man of War, Ninja, and a couple other titles. Okay. Image, okay. I, Image I like, is what? one that has a bunch of other stuff, but they don't have their comic universe coming out yet. I don't think. Like a um, cinematic. Yeah. It was like, Power Rangers plans to make other movies failed because of China. Yeah. Yo, four million bucks. Can I do it? Hi, Lexi. It? Thanks for joining. Good to see you. Long time no oh, see. Oh, what's up, Lexi? Good to see you. Super long time for me. Good to see you. It's so... The state of comic book movies in the future. I see it going well. With the DCEU finally... Getting a clue Catching and copying. Catching up a little, yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, getting, they getting into the game. They had to get warmed up, man, because... I'm sorry. BBS I don't... It's, it's just... It was bad. They have took a lot of steps bad, back. It was bad, man. That, that, that should have been... That should have been Justice League. That should have been 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. That should have led right into six. a great Justice League movie. Nope. It was... Like I said, the Batman vs. Superman, and after that, we need a group of people to kind of control... I know, Supers. and it's not... And it, I, I'm cool with them doing a couple origin movies here and they there. They said toy but... sales might make it happen still. I wonder if they <laughs> could make a TV show happen into another movie. <laughs> toy? I thought the TV shows were doing pretty good, though. I mean, the kids' ones are, but not the... This is an adult movie. Yeah, you know, not that the movies. Us, so. No, but, like... But... The kid one, kids' ones always do something, well. bro. Kids' ones basically cater to, like, a mix of American now and Japanese children's audiences, so yeah. it's very good. And they're rushing to see that shit. Oh, yeah. If you... Oh, I'm still reading those ones. Basically, yep. And... Toy sales? Toy Might sales. Might make right? it happen. Wow. Merchandise is, uh, where the money's at, man. Well, used to be, at least. I really just hope the DCEU will get better, because I really want to see a good Green Lanterns movie. Like, said Green we Lanterns need an expansive universe. Good. It's called the Extended Universe, yeah. and we we're need stuck extend- at the same three We need extended always. stuff. We need... Yeah. I want to see Green Lantern. I want to see... Shazam! Where's I Martian Manhunter? Where is my? Oh my goodness! Right. Where's my Where Martian is John Johns? I would watch the shit out of that movie. Oh, absolutely. You have no man. clue to see the white Martians and like you know the fire His form and, like, and like oh, right. I would love to see. And, that. Like maybe we're not there visually from Martian Manhunter, but I don't know, man. We well, could pull it off. You could pull off anything, but is it going to be cost effective at this point? Maybe. It's, it they, might be if they start getting better, better, man. 
If they do, if, if they, they start, start making better. more profits, then they spend in like Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Wonder Woman is awesome. Three hundred already. already more than double its input. That's and that's crazy. the first. And that's first weekend. Plus a little bit more trickling into the weekdays. But yeah, that's, that's not much. much. No, once we can see more, like I fully expect, hopefully Wonder Woman will break a million or a billion. I'm hoping so too, because right now we only have Beauty and the Beast and Furious Eight that have broke a billion. And I'm like, mm. and I, I attribute a lot of that to the age yeah, compunction the, of Gu- Guardians and, and Logan. Whereas Wonder Woman is way more age appropriate than either of those movies. Oh man, especially Logan. Not age appropriate at all. Well, for, for violence, either. but I'd say Guardians is more lewd. Well, yeah. I was just talking about Logan in specific. Like, yeah, it is pretty crazy. You can't show kids can, that. No kids can see Well, that. no non comic fan kids. <laughs> if you're a comic book fan, yeah, because people. I, I, I've watched it with people and they're like. Holy crap, this is so heavy. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's super it's heavy. It's definitely like, supposed when to be. When men cried, when everyone cried. <laughs> men cry all the time. Hey, comic tweets and knowing comic fun comics, thank you for uh, the retweets. Nice, thanks, guys. And uh, Which would you prefer first, Green Lantern TV show or new movie? T- movie. A movie, definitely. I didn't like the last animated TV show that much. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, dang, I forgot all about that, bro. Me. Wasn't good at all to me. Yeah, wasn't very good. Um, I, I thought the last movie wasn't good. He just hasn't had the justice be, he deserves. To be fair, you're right, he hasn't. To be fair, though, I feel like Hal Jordan is not uh, that strong of a personality to be on the screen for the whole time. Like, that's why I really hope the Green Lantern Corps is the the core of three or four, you know? Yeah, it's Hal Jordan, um, Kyle Stewart. Randner... John Stewart and Guy Gardner. Yep. Hopefully it's those four. If not, maybe minus one of them. Even with the rest, maybe like the one thing I did like about the last movie was not all about how Jordan is. It Green wasn't. Lantern. You got a lot of Kilowog. You got a lot of interaction from the others. I would yeah, love to see Astro, more development. I mean, it was, yeah. uh, and so that would be so better Astro with a better character. Going, though, that would have been way. Uh, Greedy X, thank you. Which would you prefer first? Yeah, no, that one already did. Now, here's the question. What would you guys prefer first? Do we want to see Cyborg slowly introduced, or we already know he's probably getting his own film? But he would is. we Confirmed. Yeah, uh, we'll see how the rest of these movies go. Right, right. <laughs> like, Flash, everything's confirmed the until they run out of money. lost the director. Yeah. Twice. Gambit was going to be a movie twice. for years. It also lost its Henry Allen. Oh, yeah, Gambit. Gambit is still in production. Like, I'm just yeah, saying, sure. it's this kind of, Tatum it's is kind like of the same thing as it. the so- Sony's Venom. We'll see how it pans out. Venomverse. I'm like, why are you doing this? Why? Still not bad as Secret Empire. Secret. My opinions on Secret Empire basically got me into that moderator group. Dude, Andrew I Jones. won't. I just won't ruin it. I have to. I can't not I'm understand like, why I they can't. did this dumbass shit. It's so stupid. It's man. the worst I, thing. I, I'll I've just seen in a wait for a very wide, a long. I'll let you know when get, it's over. Get a marathon. I'll I'll yeah. let you know when it's over and I'll summarize it for you and you can just skip it. No, I'm actually just gonna go through and read it because I like to get a marathon reading. I like the marathon. Reading, I bet I my life like cyborg won't marathons. do well no matter how good it is. Ouch. Oh man. Cyborg, cyborg backstory, backstory movie. Backstory movie. Yeah, ah. that's what I want. I want a cyborg backstory. But is I don't know. Is I it feel like that's too small. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm... Well, what, let's see what even happens. Like, maybe... Well, because they probably Titans changed can be hit to that. Or, you know, may, let's see what happens. My thing is, I think the way they would do it is tie it in through the Apocalypse tech, because that's the new origin, basically. Yeah, that would have to be. Which is crazy, because it's not the new Rebirth I just, origin. I, I would hope they would do, do it justice. I hope they do all these movies justice, I do. Man. I think the other reason that... And this is more of a, like every kind of picture problem that international audiences and even America doesn't appreciate films with people of color and they need to they more don't. because they, they're they so good and I get into that all day man I think it's a relatability thing but like it's it's easy to relate to someone who looks, looks like, like you them. Do. yeah it's why an Asian but, yeah, Jesus knock, looks kind of, you know she looks white but she's Israeli got the accent I think it's really nice I I think it does help and my mother is actually against the accent more than I don't think she knows what race really? she is she's because she grew up with Linda Carter as a ah uh, yeah and, and so you gotta remember different. that's gonna come into a lot of people's opinions oh, on Linda this Carter that's not <laughs> so a shot cheesy. just a prediction 
That's fine as a prediction. We know it's it's also. Kind I just of a want shot Justice League to be what, good. Let the group movie, the big group movie, be good. Please. I want it to, but here's the problem: Why was the Avengers great? Was it because it had all the Avengers in it, or was it because we had developed these, these characters, characters in the, into the, meaningful the characters areas that, and then introduced mm-hmm. them into meaningful relationships? We, had, we already knew story. them, so. We could integrate their relationships and then go into an even larger movie with all of them. Now, having said awesome. that, I wonder if we can't do the Guardians of the Galaxy approach with it. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm hoping would go well with Justice League. But then we're doing something different from them, and then, then we and branch out again and no longer have no. those strong, and where's consistent the, ties. Justice League, too, you know, it hasn't ever right. been announced, and there's no That's plans. the other big thing, and here's another big thing about the Avengers movies and even the Marvel's event movies in relation to each other and the main plot. Every single one of those movies is somehow tinily connected. Tied into and themselves. even more than that, the threats are always in a manner of escalation and style that make it interesting. And plus, you, when you get these big movies with all these characters grouped up, you get really powerful villains that can take on all of them at once. Right, and that's and that's where I get to the problem with the Justice League is people often point out the Justice League is a super stacked, and it is. It, it is. is. It's In the Justice League Avengers crossover, or maybe it was the Marvel DC crossover, Superman beats Hulk. Well, this although fan, there's different either. ones, but this, oh, okay. the thing is, Superman notes that even though they don't always have the, the, he notes that they they face much harder odds than the Justice League do. Yeah. On a, on a much more current basis. He literally says this in the comic that despite them not always having the best track record, they face bigger challenges with less oh, resources well, yeah. than we do. Which yep. is, is very true. Not only that, they t- the, the opposite side of it being that... Uh, wh- so because of that, they this and that, but Superman's big complaint was they let evil basically run rampant in the world. You know, they say Doom, and which is so funny because Condock exists, but... I was going to say, come on! I mean, Batman, but, but, all these things. But as comparatively, the Avengers never step into U.S. politics, or world politics for the most part. And Whereas the suit league has a lot, actually. Yeah, more than, very and many so, times. And so we get, peop- we get Superman calling Cap too light on evil, and Cap calling Superman a dictator, basically. <laughs> That's it's awesome. Very, it's a very interesting dynamic. Uh, I feel like Justice came too quick. I agree. I needed yeah, I, more build-up. I, I want some build-up, but we We're, only got Gal Gadot. That's it. We only have one Woman's have Origin. No, we, have, we have the Superman. Yeah. We have Superman but he's, not, he's barely even going to appear. So it's like, if at all. Yeah, he might have a clip at the end. It might be him bursting out of the coffin. That's probably what it's going to be. Let's be honest here. He's a god-minded character, and that's always how Soups comes. He comes back, saves the day. Actually, people always get this impression that Soups can just come back to life, but he's only done it once. He's only ever died once. One time, and that's and and they specifically say that he cannot do what he did that time again. Yeah, he said you could never do this again. Like if you die next time, you do, and that's why he had to wear the black Mm -hmm. to absorb the sun. Well, and even before that, like he wouldn't have been able to because they talk about it. He had to be in the regeneration matrix. He had to have the Dang, Eradicators right. try to take over his body, thus restoring his body. Well, what about functions. in Rebirth right now? I mean, he fused with New they 52. Basically, they basically phased out everything in New 52. They said New 52 didn't happen, basically. I thought they fused together. They did, but there was no It was no like past. nothing really happened. Yeah, yeah there's no like, past Boop. individual to 52. That's Superman. crazy. That's not, I have to get on that then. You'll have to check I was, it out. I was checking because out the fusion the, If you think like, about what? it, the biggest change between 52 and, and this one was the relationship between Wonder Woman and Superman. Superman. Which, has been, hexed, which has been, yeah, hexed out. That Superman is dead. Or dead and then combined with the old Superman. Whatever. <laughs> which is like, What? The but it's song, just like, like his wow. energies, though. It's not even like supposed oh, to be his so memories. Oh, so it's not like the characters. So they do a whole thing. So he just gets like, absorbed. New Fifty Two, basically. Basically, like he just gets absorbed. Hmm. He like and actually, New Fifty Two Lois actually is dead as well. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, she gets absorbed into Lois as well. Oh, I mean, still though, it's just like boop. And yep. then now they have a child, and that's yep. They, the continuity. Yep, that, the continuity has been changed. To that where it's back to where they have their child. Yep. Um, so they haven't retroed that out. They oh, and they have the whole Krypton uh, birth thing, and I believe 
Kara, but I don't think they've shown enough yet. Really? Like, I think they just mentioned Kara, like, they mentioned your cousin... Blah, blah, blah. blah. Kara might appear? Something like that, yeah. But they haven't really mentioned it that heavily. It's more along the line of, like... I like her as a character. I think she was a great character addition. Only problem being the last son of Krypton thing, which doesn't... Technically count. Like, well, it doesn't count for a woman, first of all. Right. Last daughter of Son of yeah. Krypton. Uh, you really think they won't use Soups that much? I thought he'd be back first, maybe second act in Justice League. It's very, very silly not to use him. He's, like, high up on the cast list, which is kind of weird, but I don't think he's going to be used My thing much. is, if they use him that much, they shit even harder on Batman vs. Superman by making <laughs> the, the most powerful scene non-relevant. It's like, oh, yep. I killed him. He I came back him. two movies later. It's like it's like Coulson. Oh, Coulson died. And technically, ooh, that's not ooh, even that long. It's not even that long later. <laughs> oh no! In the movie canon, or in the time canon, or in the cinematic universe, you know what I mean? Movement? No, it's it's like within two years. It's of each like other. a couple years, if that. You really? Th- yeah, I think. Wait, explain the new Fifty Two Fusion thing for Soups. I thought he died in Reverse Soups. Is pre Flashpoint Soups? Y- yes, yes, but Fifty Two Soups. Was Absor- it, like his essence him. was absorbed into him, not his history. <laughs> it was like his power. If you go watch, Su- if you read Superman twenty two, I believe, and you're gonna have to. Ve- very... like, it, the the cover is them like flying into each other. Yeah, that's really interesting. It's really funny, but yeah, Adrian, if you check it out, I've, it's between Superman twenty and Action Comics like nine hundred and something or another. You uh, really? that you have to split the stories that they it's one oh, in, it's a split yeah it's one Superman then one in action one Superman then one in action you really think they won't use soups, soups that much oh yeah yeah I feel like Justin came too quick I thought new soups 52 died yes he did like yep definitely that, that absorption means he's gone like from existence correct yeah his, that, like, even his vanished. leftover energy is boop now it's part of Superman I'm cool with that. I was great. With that. I didn't like the new Fifty Two Superman. Me neither. He used to get his ass kicked by dragons. All the time. Soups would never get his ass kicked by a dragon. Come on now. I was just like, whatever. This soup sucks. Yeah, it was not great. Um, Andrew hates killing soups. him was completely <laughs> for shock value. Then what a shitty movie would have made an unbelievable amount of more sense to keep him for Justice League. Exactly. That's why I think they won't bring let's him back. Do, let's just have him at the end. Like, I really hope he... <laughs> even at the last up. act. Yeah. He, even if it's like, oh, he comes uh, back and helps finish the Yeah, movie. that's what I was gonna say. Okay, if he's there at the very end helping fi- wrap things up, yeah, it's last like, oh, we minutes, need we need a Superman and we won't win without him. And he comes out. Yeah, it's like, miraculous. that's Superman. That's who he is. The yep. last minute see the, 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 he's always the last that. hope. And that's what, I, what, that's I, mean? what I hope they make him... I hope he comes out at the very end and he's like, you know, I'll, he defeats the parademons or you know, something. Well, helps, something. you know, yeah, but still, it's like, yeah. The ones that are, like, in front of them maybe Or, like, saves them or, like, helps them helps do something. Helps them beat them done. down. Or, but, yeah, I think compl- killing I him just, was completely for shock value. I really want to see them all fight side they, by side. And that's what the Avengers my, does and very well. They do. They sell the interact, But we've been seeing some of their interaction in the trailers and it looks good. Good. It looks great. And the, Batman well, and Aquaman? Like, the yeah. only thing we're worried about right now is the reshoots. We don't know yeah, what's who happening. who knows what's going to happen. Right. We could, and well, who knows? Do you, do, you know, do you know exactly which reshoots they're doing? They're no. not doing the whole movie. No, well, of course not. I mean, if they did, I think they wouldn't. They'd stop the movie. Probably, and is it helmed but, by Joss Whedon? I think these are. It the, is. Supposedly, there's two sides. One being that they're major plot changes, and one being that they're just extras that Zack Snyder and Whedon are adding in, probably for ultimate cuts or. Man, I, or just you know, for a final there product. was rumors going around early. in Soups is a glory hog cough. To be fair, he is. Hi, thanks. What's up, uh, Garbo? Hey, How you been, Cuz? It's got the other. Okay, player. but dude, so check this out. There's been a little bit of rumors going around that a Green Lantern. Very well, might appear in one of those cutscenes, and it might be Abin Sir crashing to Earth. Maybe that would be so sick, my man. I'd like that tying that in. I, I think a lot of people are Green wanting. That. I know I, everyone wants a Green Lantern, but I'm just like I don't see a place for him right now in the league. Well, yeah, especially with like how many movies there really aren't in the DCEU in the entirety. And just have Wonder Woman. Well, and, and even like in all right, so we bring him in into Ju- before them. The problem with Green Lantern is very much that he exists in a position that's slightly under Superman, basically. Gra- like seven power level, wise or? power level, but also interactionary level. Like everything they do, heroes can be defined to like a certain level. 
Batman and Superman basically being near the top, though Superman obviously does more super human feats, etc. But Batman realistically, awesome. Batman does equal... They're the, they're the top two. Right. The world's finest. Right, and, and for their respective needs, whereas Hal doesn't really fit. He's a powerhouse who's not as powerful as suits. He's a thinker who is not as... Strong, S- cunning, maybe, or you know, in the in the ways of strategy. Oh, man, yeah, I feel you. He's just kind of like he's a light. A, he's a medium character. You he's, know a great, he's a great, like, kind of character. villain. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're saying. And he's now, great, when like, you push him coming. to his limits, yes, like he's he, at his limits, oh, he man. stomps Superman. I just want to hear that Green Lantern oath. <laughs> That's really what got to. That is one, all we ever wanted. One op, one of oh one of cough cough soups. A, is a glory hog. Yeah, he is. Yep. But that's who he is. Boo! He's, he's Batman! I, Team I, Bats! I love Green Lantern, too. He's probably one of some of my favorite that's characters. That's why I just Lantern. want... I want that story in there. I want the corpse. I want it, I want but the like three I said, guys. it's one like, of those want, things, man. It's like, I, I want can't. Justice League Unlimited eventually. Like, I want I do that. want that. But I, I think we need to build characters. characters. I think we do. We the, have to, the but second, I want that in the end. And so here's what I see. Green Lantern's second Justice League movie. Going to space, actually confronting the parademon source of Apocalypse. That would be and awesome. Go Dark Side. That would be a great second movie oh, into dark based side. on this. Because I think this one's just going to be the invasion with Stephen Wolf as the bridge. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like trying to take over the world with Dark Side's power and he's using not the Mother Box technology. Yep. Yep. Yeah. My other comment. Huh? Killing him was completely free. Would have made it. Yeah, I really can move for Justice League. One of uh-huh. I'm you'll you'll have to recomment it, Sai, sorry. Yeah, Soups is a glory hog though. And I don't like it. But like move out the way, Soups. Let the like, others save the day. Come on, everybody else needs a chance to save the world, right? <laughs> move, man. And oh. he's gone right now. And I that's that would be the perfect moment, I think. This and would I actually hate to be touch on time. it again. It would be the perfect moment for Soups to just pop up at the end. It would. Boom, It'd also dry. be a good spot right now, actually, for Green Lantern to show up. Yeah, as I would like love an end it. of the movie, like, just edition. like a you know, Abin Sir crashes down. He's like, I gotta find someone, and then it cuts. That's it. We know it's coming. Okay. Yeah, Green Lantern is coming idea. up. Like that's what we I want. I would really man. want it. I love Green Lantern. If you read Green Lantern and the Hal or Hal Jordan in the Green, Green Lantern, Lantern Corps, so good guys. Every step so of that. Every good. every single one of them has. Great homage, great ideas, unique things. I feel like I'm honestly, I felt like I was like I just going really back to love the those characters and how they built them in those stories and how they actually portrayed those characters in those stories. Oh, They're portrayed so accurately and so well. And Definitely. I just love the Green Lanterns, like the main, you know, the four. The, uh, the Earth Lanterns, you yeah. know, the the ones that we exactly. care about and relate to, <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> the ones who the ones are. that are important. Obviously, no, I'm just but um. And even more than that, like, I love the interaction even, like, on the level of them to things. So, like, you, like, for example, when in, in this, spoilers, but it's probably, like, a year oh, back man. now, yeah. how Jordan, uh, in the Green Lantern Corps, when they get this trapped with Starro. Yep, Starro go- takes over the village and stuff. And, Ga- yeah. and Gardner's just like, you know, we're all just people, even if some of us look like weird bird <laughs> fish people. <laughs> That's so Guy Gardner. That's so though, Guy Gardner. Know, but that, it's such I a great, like, dynamic and, like, characters. Each of them have strong characters and, like... Green Lantern like, heart. Yes. Yay, Green Lantern is awesome. Hey, Jordan. Yay. <laughs> Green Lantern, awesome. Did you... Who is it? I think it's Vic Mignogna is voicing Green Lantern in, in Justice hmm. 2. Vic Mignogna? Or not Vic. No, Hart. it's uh, Stephen Blum. Is it Stephen Blum? Yep, the guy who plays Mujin, and he plays Tom from Toonami. Yeah, that's him. And, uh, yeah... I was, oh man, that's such a good voice too. I'm I didn't like, like it for freaking for Hal Jordan. No, I didn't. It was a little weird, but I like his voice in every character he does. So I'm just like, I, uh, I'm biased. Good, it's a good I'm voice, with like, Blum. but the problem is it's his. Like Stephen Blum does the Stephen Blum voice. Like, yeah, and he has specific characters that works for it. But I just, ah oh, man, I like that voice. It was, I was like, yep, yes. yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Vic Mignogna will be even stranger though. <laughs> Come on, eh? it's like you know. Oh god, that would be awesome. so. That would be funny. So, did they release the DLC already for Injustice? I was having issues. Like, I don't think so. Because I came on one day and I could see all the characters on the side. Like, I could literally see they have the Adam, like a little thing, and he's like a tiny little. Did they bring in the? Oh, I don't I, think I they brought it in though, because like I did the update, right? All right, so I did the update. It was like that, right? But I couldn't. 
pick any of them. You couldn't even really see them yet. Mm. They're, they're just like a little just the, the Yeah, kind of like how when you have an unlocked uh, brainy kind of or dark something. side. Yeah, so they're like, it shows them, but it's really just like a question mark over yep. the face almost. That would be awesome, But then dude. it's gone yeah. now. Like, you can't see oh, that anymore. After like, the I, update? Well, I haven't seen it. It was, and then I think I did another update, or maybe it was just, I don't know. Uh, maybe they so pulled weird. it. Maybe it was accident. It was but so it's weird, just yeah. like, here's the JL movie you've been waiting decades for without one of the main characters, though. Sorry, we needed to kill him off for shock. Uh, yeah, add yeah. to a shitty movie we made with Ben Affleck. It would be really shitty. Like, but that's why I hope he. Pops that's why up they wanted the to kill. Him. I don't understand why they do Doomsday as an opener for the mm-hmm. confrontation. Like, Doomsday is a closer. Yeah. Or at right. least a transition. Uh, see, and here we're running into a, a thing here. These very powerful villains popping yeah. up, and then in Justice League, Steppenwolf. Like Steppenwolf has nothing on. The like I was like, really, Steppenwolf. Had not has nothing on Ares by himself. He does have the parademons and even Dark then, like, well, I'm that like, was my other thing is the depiction still, of those super valent, powerful villains we talked about. Like, in that, it either gives rise to the credibility of the hero, but it's very hard to make that hero so big at the very beginning of the journey, and then scale it down. Like, it's like. Again, like we were saying, what's Wonder Woman going to face? Cheetah, you know? It's... Who's next? Who do we fight next? And that's the same with Justice League. I want them to be more measured. Doomsday should not have been the first one. No! That was way there, too early. There what about Mentallo? Could Somebody not get must... Mentallo? Yeah, that would have been awesome. Somebody must Controls, try. soups to do something, and then suddenly they're at odds. You know what I mean? Or the other way around. Maybe he controls something bats like that. to do yeah, something. Yeah, bats because... That would actually make a lot more sense, because Batman just wanting to kill him? Like, there was a lot of motive. Well, like I said, my cousin, I'm sure, I'm surprised he hasn't hit me with more of the, like, reviews of the fucking Batman. Right, some of the live comments, like, what is going on? those live commentaries on that Batman vs. Superman. (sighs) Bad. I just really hope Justice League would be great. I think Um, it will, though. I think... I think it'll pan out. At the very least, it's going to be hopefully as good as Wonder Woman. I want it to be better. I want it It to be much better. It needs to be better. I want it to be, like... 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Well, I mean, I want a 10 out of 10, but so I'm, st- I mean, it's, I don't even know what 10 out of 10, even Logan is a 9.5, you know what right. I mean? Right, it's not- a 10 out of 10, but we want, I want it to be there as close as it possibly can be. Yeah. I want it to be as close to a 10 as it can be, guys, because Justice League we've been looking forward to since we've been children. Yep. We watched the Justice League cartoons, we read the comics as kids. Why would you not want that awesome team with to the be TV shows cinematically? Us, you know what I mean? Oh, Always animated teasing. shows were so. I will. I will say that good. you know the problem. That one thing I will say as good as so good. The animated is the best. Like Young that, Justice. Oh my goodness, that's coming I mean, back. Even for season then, three. like the movies, dude. The animated movies. Are, every single movie. So good. Every single one's on point. Every single one's based on a comic. I can't think of term. one that I'm just like, ew. Why? The Elseworld one was the only one that was kind of iffy. I still uh, liked it. And it's like, world. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, it wasn't bad, I mean, you know. No, it was fine, it was, it was like, like, oh, there's, you know, Superman who's not, in, you know, whatever in charge, because it wasn't the evil Elseworld when it was the, you know what I'm talking about, right, where he's like, <sighs> which Elseworld? It's like, he's in a black suit, or he's like oh, wearing a trench side? coat. No, 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 he's wearing a trench coat, you remember that one? No. I think he even has a different name, like. It's a total Elseworld piece. And it's not called Elseworld is the problem, but it's one of their what? Elseworld pieces. Yeah, I know. That's odd. Yeah, but it's the same ones there. Uh, so we're kind of winding down. we got a couple more minutes. Uh, if there's anything you guys want to talk to about, you know, we had a great Shooter turnout message. today. Guys, it, yeah, thank you. it was such a great turnout. It was always really a good oh, turnout. Every week, guys, every we're week. amazed. Like, it's always continuously getting good. Everyone's... Got more people coming in. We got all the comments coming in. That's awesome. You know, the, oh, the reactions guys. are always <clears throat> fun. And you share. guys share and you comment, you participate. So we thank you very much. And a special thanks to our Patreons who contribute to our Patreon account. Susie, Marie, Cy Kennedy, and Tyler Lockridge. Guys, we thank you so much so for much. contributing. Your contributions help so much. Our prizes went in the mail. So people are going to start getting the prizes and we're going to post them. After the cast tomorrow, feel free be, be on the lookout. We're gonna pick one person to get one of these comics, and yeah, you'll have your free pick of one of these awesome Justice League America comics. <laughs> it's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be awesome. Next week, episode twenty-two. Comic convos. <laughs> Comic convos. Uh, like I said, I don't think we have too much 
Was, as long as I, I can never tell how long our lag delay is. Right, right. It's, it's probably like two, yeah, it's a couple minutes back. Thanks again, guys. It's definitely summer. 4.15 here, and the sun's coming. Yeah, I kind of figured oh, wow. it's pretty late for Sile. Yeah, so thank, thank you, you for always for, coming out, man. Yeah, like, we appreciate it. until we end a lot of the time. Yeah, thank man, we, so we can't much. thank you enough. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm Max Grave. I'm Leo Rydell, and this is Comic Convos, guys. We'll see you next week. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.